Injection Technique The Pre-Puncture Technique for Palatal Injections It is commonly understood that palatal injections performed with traditional syringe are amongst the most painful injection experiences of the mouth and body. Both patients and dentists attest to the fact that it is almost impossible to give or receive a comfortable palatal injection using a traditional syringe. With the introduction of computer-controlled local anesthetic delivery systems, Dr. Mark Hockman and colleagues at Milestone Scientific developed the pre-puncture technique, allowing painless palatal injections to be performed when using wand STA handpiece system. This technique consists of a series of specific steps that will result in a superior outcome that just cannot be replicated when using the manual syringe that was developed over 150 years ago. The combination of the pre-puncture technique and the precisely controlled flow rate and pressure of the STA system enables both needle penetration and anesthetic delivery to be performed in the safest and least painful manner that patients can experience today. The STA's precision fluid metering combined with feather lightweight handpiece creates unparalleled control to all aspects of the injection experience. It is not uncommon for patients to be totally unaware if and when an injection has been performed even in the highly sensitive tissues of the palate. Before you begin, verify the STA system is set to the STA mode. It is recommended that you use the 30 gauge, 1 half inch bonded STA wand handpiece when performing the pre-puncture technique into the palate. Please note, it is critical to use the STA mode to ensure that a safe and controlled single flow rate is maintained throughout this injection. Delivering the anesthetic at a faster rate than the control flow rate can result in adverse tissue reactions and or tissue damage. Step 1. Start by gently placing the bevel of the needle against the surface of the palate. This is achieved by holding the handpiece at approximately a 45 degree angle to the palatal surface. Step 2. Stabilize the needle by applying pressure from a cotton applicator. It's best to use a wooden handled cotton applicator so that adequate pressure can be applied. The applicator absorbs any anesthetic solution and makes for a more comfortable needle entry. Step 3. You will now initiate cruise control by depressing the foot pedal and counting three audible beeps. After the third beep, the SDA system will announce the word cruise. Upon hearing this announcement, remove your foot from the top of the foot control pedal. You will find that the SDA system will continue to beep indicating anesthetic solution is continuing to flow. The technique of allowing anesthetic to contact and diffuse through the outer layers of tissues produces a topical anesthetic effect, numbing the surface. Do not allow the needle to puncture the tissue at this time. Continue to allow the needle to stay on the surface for another four beeps before initiating needle penetration. Step 4. Rotate the handpiece back and forth with a slight forward movement to allow a shallow puncturing of the tissue to a depth of 1 to 2 millimeters. Then stop forward movement to allow the STA system to continue to deposit anesthetic for an additional 4 to 5 beeps before any further penetration of the tissue. Step 5. Continue to very slowly penetrate the palatal tissue with a gentle back and forth rotational movement while simultaneously advancing another 1 to 2 millimeters before pausing once again. It should take anywhere between 6 to 8 seconds to reach bone depending on the thickness of the palatal tissue. Step 6. Maintain the needle bevel against the surface of the bone once contacted. You should begin to notice distinct blanching of the palatal tissue as an effect of the vasoconstrictor in the local anesthetic. This is normal. When you have delivered the required dosage, you can remove the needle. To avoid anesthetic solution spray back into the patient's mouth, perform the following. Depress and release the foot control pedal. Count three beeps after releasing the foot control, then remove the needle from the within the patient's mouth. Direct the needle away from the patient as a small amount of anesthetic solution may still be present. You have just reviewed the critical steps of the pre-puncture technique. The combination of this technique and the technology of the STA system allows you to perform a painless palatal injection. The STA system will empower you to improve all your current injection techniques, as well as providing superior outcomes that cannot be achieved with other systems or instruments. By making your office syringe-free and exclusively using only the wand STA system in your practice, you will observe numerous benefits. These include increased referrals, improved patient satisfaction, improved treatment acceptance, 
stronger patient loyalty, and generally happier patients. But most of all, you and your patients will know that you are providing the highest level of care by integrating the world's most advanced technology for local anesthetic delivery that is available today.